to another video. And in today's video, we'll be talking about HVAC. The term HVAC, it's something that you have come across whether you are a professional in the field or someone is curious to know about this term that you have been hearing on and on and on from various sources, whether you are walking into a shopping mall, into a school, into a residential commercial building, a suburban house, at one point in time in the year where their system broke, their HVAC system broke, and someone was asking for the maintenance guy to help them with the HVAC system. So HVAC, what does it stand for? Now HVAC as a domain, it is a subdomain actually of mechanical engineering. Now as a mechanical engineer and projects manager, this is a branch from the domain of mechanical engineering. You do have electrical engineers, you have chemical engineers, civil engineers, mechanical engineers, and HVAC falls under the umbrella of mechanical engineering. Now, within the domain of HVAC, first of all, let's identify what does every single one of these letters within the HVAC stand for. Now, HVAC stands for heating, ventilation, air conditioning. So H stands for heating, which is basically taking the air within the space that you have and adding some extra heat to it in order to increase its temperature. This is one. Or you can increase its temperature by adding some water vapor, hot water vapor. Now, all of these mechanisms, the processes, all of these details related to HVAC, we talk about them with extensive details within our academy and within our channel. So make sure that you click and smash the subscribe button and join our growing community. So H stands for the heating. V stands for the ventilation. If you walk into a space, sometimes it smells off, sometimes it's overly contaminated with dust. It has some bacteria, some particles which are contaminating the air. You need to refresh and recycle the air to remove the old amount of air and replace it by a fresh new amount from the atmosphere around you. And this is basic definition or the basic interpretation for the term ventilation. So we have covered the H, we have covered the V, and we have the air conditioning. Now, when we, when we refer to air conditioning, and normally in day-to-day -day life, air conditioning is used to present HVAC. It's quite interchangeable. If you walk into a store and you want to buy an air conditioning system, you are buying an HVAC system. Now, air conditioning, it means we're trying to make the air within the space that we're dealing with reach specific desired set points. And what I mean by desired set points, it means we are trying to get it to a specific temperature. We are trying to get it to a specific humidity in order to achieve a specific end goal. Now, you might ask yourself, why is this important to achieve in the first place? And the answer lies simply within your day-to-day -day application. Now, if you are it's during the summertime and you are exercising or you're walking outdoors, the temperature is quite too hot and you walk in indoors, you need the air within the indoor space to be conditioned in order to achieve the desired requirement, which is comfort. Now, the, the primary design conditions or criteria for designing an HVAC system in today's world would be based on comfort. You as an individual, you as a person, you should be sitting within any space, whether it's a mall, within a school, within an apartment, within a townhouse, within the hospital, you should be feeling comfortable with the air around you. And this is the core basic analogy and application for the HVAC domain in general. So if you are an HVAC professional or someone curious about learning about HVAC from a design end, from a real life end, and the various ends of the spectrum, make sure that you join our growing community, smash the like and the subscribe buttons if you like the video, and feel free to leave your questions and comments, and we are more than happy to address them, and I'll see you in the upcoming video.